friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. I am home at my mom's for Christmas weekend. I'm actually out in the car with my sister. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> we are, uh, we were going to try to beat the snow. It's not happening because it's really snowing outside. She had to put her cold, cold Rachel, gloves on. Um, it's going to be, thank you, it's going to be only a high of 15 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow. So, <laughs> we are we are going to the store to get everything we might need for the next couple days. Christmas dinner, breakfast, lunches, dinners, the whole thing. And, um, yeah, Walmart is only just a couple miles from home, so that's nice. But, Jordan and I made it. It was a nine hour drive turned into a ten and a half hour drive. Because almost the whole thing was rainy. Well, yeah, it was. The whole thing was rainy, and I couldn't, in some parts, I couldn't go the speed limit because it was too rainy and too. Uh, I hydroplaned a couple times, which was a little scary, but we made it. It was foggy, it was gross, it was the mo not my favorite drive home, but I only stopped once, which is amazing. Usually I stop lots of times because I get too tired, but I was very focused yesterday because. It was scary. <laughs> Not terrifying scary, but just like I had to pay attention, which is good when you're driving, right? All right. I just wanted to get this vlog kicked off. It's going to be a pretty quiet Christmas weekend because we probably won't go anywhere. <laughs> I don't even know that we'll go to Christmas Eve service because maybe we will. We'll see. But it's going to be freezing cold outside. Much more cold than Virginia. Although I do think it's going to be only 20 something in Virginia too tomorrow. So that cold front that's hitting the whole country is also hitting here. Well, I don't know if it's hitting the whole country. All the East Coast for sure. But anyways, just wanted to kick it off. I started reading Catching Christmas by Terry Blackstock this morning. I got about 70 pages into that. I'll probably finish it later today. It's cute. So fun, fun. All right, I'll talk to you later. We came outside to move some wood. And then here's a pretty... It's like really cold. There was Rachel. We just traveled this, the path on the stoop. But, oh man, it's cold, cold, cold. Ah! Joys of a wood stove are that huh? the wood just gets dropped like this. So we've got to stack it like that so that Rachel can park her car, which is currently out there in the snow, right here in the pole barn. But, takes a lot of carrying wood to stack it. This is our exercise break for the day. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Wood pile now all stacked. Woohoo! Hot. Good morning everybody. It's Christmas Eve. Hello. <laughs> I am just we're just kind of getting moving around here. It's eight o'clock. <clears throat> I just made some tea and a bagel and I'm going to sit and read for a little bit before actually getting the day going but yesterday I finished reading Catching Christmas and it was a super cute Christmas story I immediately gave it to my mom to read I just didn't like the the little bit of romance that was in it I didn't think it was necessary but also it wasn't believable it was all sh all tell no show <laughs> so I was told he started to have feelings for her and I was told she wanted him to stick around but I didn't see that in their actions at all or in the writing it was just told to me so I didn't believe the romance because there was no build up to it it just was I was told to believe that this was romance that was happening and I just didn't believe it so it's not getting four I think it's just going to be a three star read but it was a cute Christmassy read I liked the main character that's kind of like a Luke Danes trope grumpy ish cab driver I loved the relationship between him and the old lady. He had to drive around an old lady and they began a friendship, which I, I really liked that part of it. But this morning's goal is to get caught up in my 12 days of book miss short stories. I can't find day eight. So right now I'm going to sit and read day seven and day nine. I'll read those two, but I can go all the way up till 11 today. So I'm on day seven. <laughs> My mom is like, who is she yapping to over there? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to read a couple short stories this morning while I eat my bagel. And then I'll put myself together-ish for the day. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. So I'm DNFing cha um, chapter 7. 
story seven it had shapeshifters and it's like just a weird fantasy type book that I was not book story that I was not loving. So I'm going to open day seven's gift and move on. It's hard to do this one handed. It's a pretty spine. She wouldn't change a thing. Have you guys heard of this? A mind bending story. Diane Chamberlain blurbs that by Sarah Adlaka. Would you change fate even if it means losing what you love? I never heard of that. A second chance is the last thing she wants. Oh, it's like a Freaky Friday. No, not Freaky Friday. Yeah. 39 year old Maria Forsman wakes up in her 17 year old body. She doesn't know how she gets there. All she does know is that she has to get back to her home in Mississippi to her job as a su su successful psychiatrist and to her husband, daughters, and unborn son. But she also knows that in a few weeks, a devastating tragedy will strike her husband's family. Can she change time and still keep what is given to her? Bum, bum, bum. Very pretty cover. Nice. Nice. All right. I will read story number nine now. Hopefully it's better than seven. <laughs> I guess it's pretty good. Like the first six I really enjoyed. That's the first one that was not my cup of tea. All right. I skipped story number eight because I can't find number eight gift. So I read story number nine, which was about these two friends. One's friend's dad. One of their dads accused the other dad of stealing from his store. He works for, I don't know. But at one point, a white makeup bag falls out of her locker. <laughs> and that's what it is. A little white makeup ad. Oh, but it's kind of cool because it has library card. That's cute. That would be a good pen bag to keep bookmarks and pens in. That is so cute. Yay. And I just opened it up. I didn't realize there was something inside. This is Thick and Thin Pendants. The story was called Through Thick and Thin. And the friends always said that Through Thick and Thin they would be besties. So there's two little gold necklaces, one with a thin bar, one with a thick bar. That's cute. I'm going to wrap those up and give it to my sister for Christmas. <laughs> Rachel's ready for the Bills game later. Oh, She's going Rachel. to her boyfriend's house for a little bit. And I have gotten up, changed clothes, had a shower, can't see. And I just read the story for day 10. And the prize. No, I really you're not into the bills? No. No bandwagon. This time was for the Patriots. Oh, I'm excited for this. this Tracy Garvis Graves. I read a book by her and I really liked it. And this is Heard It in a Love Song. Oh my goodness. That's pretty. Never heard of this book though. Exciting. It's very pretty. I have two left. I can find day eight and then day 11. And then I'll be all caught up. Christmas movie on one TV. Bill's game on the other TV. That's how we roll on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Actually, there's two games on. Oh, you're watching. The Giants are on 68 and the Bills are on Channel 5. I love it. I don't watch football at all, so I'm watching the movie. Mom's watching the game. I'm watching both. Mom's watching both. <laughs> Wind has blown all the snow off the trees. So they're pretty, but bare. Mom's, all, we're all bundled up to go for a little walk outside, but we're not sure why the light is on over here. We gotta go turn it off. Got a little nervous today because my mom's gas ran out, but she was able to call the gas people and they came today. Yay! Yeah, we're just gonna walk out the lane to the road and see how the roads are before we decide if we're gonna go to church for Christmas Eve service. It's just really, really cold. Like single digits probably. Maybe not right now. Maybe it's like 12, 13. This Virginia girl does not like the cold, though. I can tell you that. It is pretty, though. There's some snow on the trees back there. That's pretty. <laughs> it's been a while since I did a 300-piece puzzle. Where is it? 300. But I did one today. It was a thrift store puzzle, and bummer, there's a piece missing. So I will not be keeping this one. But it was a fun couple hours puzzle to do. Yay! We're watching a little bit of the chosen 
Christmas special with lots of music. Sitting by the wood stove. Mom's on her phone. Jordan's drinking his water. And Rachel and I are sitting here on this couch. And she's getting mad at me because I keep singing. <laughs> Because the episode hasn't even started yet. It's been like 40 minutes. Like, maybe why? 10. Maybe 10 minutes. This is only the third song. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Day at 1230. And we're just all putting on Christmas jammies. I got everybody these Christmas jammies. We just had a brunch lunch Rachel made for us. Jordan has his Christmas jammies on. Jordan, can you wave? <laughs> mom and Rachel are getting theirs on right now and we're gonna do gifts we've been having my mom's furnace well we ran out of gas two days ago yesterday two days ago the gas guy came and filled up the gas but the furnace pilot light went out because there was no gas so we've been Rachel has been and mom searching YouTube videos for how to light the pilot again and we tried last night and we couldn't get it. So thank God for a wood stove. <laughs> Mom kept, slept out here and kept the wood stove going all night. She had a little space heater in the other bathroom to keep those pipes warm. Opened up under the cap. It's just been a drama. But Rachel, the queen of the furnace, figured it out today and got the pilot going again. So yay, <laughs> Christmas miracles. Um, yeah, we were just about to exchange gifts in a few minutes and just relax and have a a Christmas day here home. We're probably going to zoom or connect with some of our siblings that are in other places. Um, yeah, Joshua's with his son out in LA. My brother BJ is in Turkey. My sister Janine Esther is in Austin, Texas. And my brother Jeremiah is with his girlfriend in New York, but in a different city. So it's just the four of us, half of the family home today. Let me see, Rach. Oh, yeah, girl. Cutes, patoots. <laughs> but Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that whatever you do with your loved ones and your family, that you have fun. Oh, yeah. I should say. I started one more Christmas book. This will be my last Christmas book of the year. It's a mystery by Georgia Hare. Taking me a hot minute to get into it. But there's just a lot of characters to figure out. But it's going to be a closed room mystery like they're all in this house together so I'll figure it out eventually I'm starting to catch on but I'm only a little bit at the beginning but that's my read for the day and I have one more two more two more short stories to read and open up those gifts as well so that's the plan for the day probably not going anywhere or doing anything because it's still flipping cold outside but that's okay talk to you all in a little while bye we wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. How cute! Rachel got me this little ornament. S'mores with books. It's so cute! <laughs> this is always a fun little aftermath. <laughs> Mom's, mom's being Santa right now. We're really, we're really, hey, we have matching jammies. We're cute. <laughs> and meanwhile, Jordan is at the doctor. He's taking care of his feet right now. Dr. Jordan to the rescue for his own self. Our fire is dying down, but we're letting it die down because we want the heat to kick on and warm up all the pipes. We have the double TVs because we're super cool. <laughs> we have a third TV. Oh man. Chef Rachel doesn't like it when other people go with her in the kitchen. <laughs> she says, go away. Go away. Let me do my business. <laughs> She's making potatoes three ways today. <laughs> Two ways. Oh, I thought you were going to do mashed also. <laughs> How can we have, no, I'm just kidding. Christmas dinner without mashed potatoes. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. Are you done? I'm done. Jordan's watching Christmas movies by himself right now. Okay. He's all cozied up in the chair. Yeah. Oh, Chloe Casserole. Jordan's ready to go. <laughs>
Ain't no party like a rummy cub party. <laughs> and a rummy cub party don't stop. What? <laughs> Especially when we're all wearing matching jammies. <laughs> I know. <It's> ridiculous. <laughs> we're cute. We're cute. Rachel's thinking she's going to win. Because I am. Shush. What that serious? Krista, if you keep talking, <laughs> you're going to get punched. Ooh. Ooh. Feisty. <laughs> Rachel is haunted by poltergeists. Are you done, Jordan? No, you're not done. There's one. It's getting intense, folks. There Rachel is tried to get down really? to her. She tried to finish, but she couldn't do it. I can now. <laughs> Jordan is hugging. Are you gonna? His turn. You're not gonna make it back to processing, you. Processing, really thinking not. through every option. <clears throat> and not really. I'm just on oxycodone, and I can't think. Oh, you can't <laughs> give us that. She's on drugs. Okay. Okay. I'm literally on freaking drugs. Um, <laughs> you are like, oh, that's a poor excuse for <laughs> <laughs> it, legit, it, le it legit is. <laughs> Best part of Christmas. <laughs> Not really, but it is nice. <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Yay. That was quick. Rachel is working on her nails. She did not keep her jammies on. Oh, so sad. Hello, friends. It is Monday morning and... I'm awake, but nobody else is that I know of, except my sister who had to go work at the YMCA early this morning. But I'm up. My mom and Jordan are still sleeping, I think. And I'm going to sit here and read. I never did do day 11 and day 12 for my short story book this thing. So I'm going to do that this morning and just kind of get this vlog done. So I'm going to wrap things up here. I did not read any more of... The Georgette Hayer book. I don't think I will. I'm not really into it. I Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I did read Skipping Christmas. But we just ended up watching a lot of cheesy Christmas movies. We watched Spirited last night. Oh, and then we watched the, the musical of Matilda, which was really good. But then at the end of the night last night, we got news that my grandma had passed. She's my last living grandmother and my mom's mom. She had been in the hospital for a few days and put on comfort care. We kind of knew it was coming. She's 90 years old, but still Christmas day. What a day to go. Very sad way to end this vlog. Now my mom has to deal with details of the service and everything. So that's what I'm going to help her with for the next day or two. While we're still here, probably I may have to extend my stay. I don't know any of those details yet, but just send my mom all the love this week, if you can, if you think of her. But sad way to end what was a peaceful, relaxing Christmas vacation. But I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday time with your family and loved ones. Uh, got some reading in if that's what you wanted to do, or just spend time with family and friends and just enjoyed a wonderful holiday weekend. It was very quiet and peaceful around here, but we had a we had a wonderful weekend. So I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you for being here. I love I always say that, but I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I look forward to chatting with you in the comments and I will talk to you in another video very soon. Bye.